There is a growing burden of developmental disability in that around 23% of children worldwide is having or at risk of a developmental problem and in Australia every nine minutes a child is born who may be at risk of developing such a problem. Developmental and behavioural problems start showing up from very early age, say 18 to 24 months onwards you can see symptoms of autism or behavioural problems or developmental issues. But by the time children are detected to be having such problem, it may be as late as when they start school. So it could go without being detected until they turn up at school and the teacher would say, why is he not talking or why is that not happening? The challenges in picking up kids early who have developmental problems is a combination of parents maybe not having the knowledge about what is normal in terms of development and when to be worried. They might not know where to go if they are worried. They may have people around them saying, don't be worried, this is normal, just wait and see. And I think our services aren't that clear for them in terms of what are the pathways to get to early intervention. There is an inverse care law in operation in that the most disadvantaged children with the highest developmental risk are the ones who are getting least access to help. The Watch Me Grow study was very helpful in understanding the barriers and enablers for families around how they could access services when they were concerned about their children's development. From the study, we developed the Watch Me Grow e app, which is an app parents can fill in that can give them some real time feedback on their children's development and they can use it to discuss with healthcare providers. We have realised that if there is a system to look after children in a more systematic way as to when they come for regular checkups or say vaccination visits. It's a beautiful opportunity that we can begin to see how their development is going. In the Watch Me Grow electronic platform or the web app, we have got some validated developmental assessments and questionnaires which they can complete while they are in the waiting room of a GP clinic, for example. On talking to GPs, they have always told us that it has to be very efficient in terms of time, they are all time poor and therefore having the Watch Me Grow platform completed by the parents in the waiting room and the results automatically available to them at the point of care makes it a great deal easier for them to do the consultation with the parent when they come in. And these questions will pop up based on the date of birth that the parent would be putting in so the right questions for that age will, will come up and as soon as they have completed the questions and submitted their answers an email will go back to them saying what the results have been and if there are any issues that they have raised concern when they were completing the questions, there will be the appropriate recommendations. Regardless of that, they will get anticipatory guidance of what that child should do, what you are expected to do at that age and how they can promote healthy development. And every six months they will get an email back, a reminder to say time to take the questions again. So you get an ongoing monitoring of how the child's development is progressing over time in the preschool years. Watch Me Grow has helped me um, and my family because it's helped me learn when Caitlin might have needed a little bit of extra one-on-one -on -one time with me to help with her words and her language and pronunciation that she might have been a bit slow on to start with. She's got a bit of extra help now that I know where to work on. Watch Me Grow will enable us to pick up children much earlier than we have currently been able to do, which means that we can get them into services such as speech pathology, occupational therapy, physiotherapy, and into services such as high quality preschool, which means that these kids will get the intervention they need before they start school, rather than starting school with developmental problems. We developed the Watch Me Grow program to reach out to every child who has the right to have access to early identification. If you piggyback with, let's say, vaccination visits, more than 95% of children will be covered uh, anywhere in the world, even including in developing countries. And therefore, if you can have an opportunity for early identification through engaging parents and helping them to monitor their child's progress and development over the preschool years can really help in early identification. And if you can do that, that will be making a great deal of outcomes for the parents and the families that we will be serving.